Good morning again, everyone, and welcome back to the KSR YouTube channel. KSR. We're in Indy, and it's wet again. It's quite moist. Quite that word, moist. some people don't like that word. You know that, right? It's not wet in here. It's huh? solid. That's good. Cool, so hopefully we get some uh, runs today. Looking at the radar, it looks like we're probably going to get something, something in, so... We're gonna get out there, grab us some breakfast on the way to the track, get out there, swap the tires. I'm gonna play with tune-up, do some math, see if I can still continue the process of getting faster every run. That was kind of my goal for the week, and then the gear change is a big, a big uh, step backwards as far as going faster. Not a big step, but I just have to make some changes to try and keep going faster, but. If you like what you're seeing here on the KSR YouTube channel, please subscribe. We are right at 200,000 subs. Pretty excited about that. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and get on out to the track and... Oh yeah. Turn the power on so we can actually go somewhere. Air compressor, air pump on there, just trying to turn it on. Thank you. All right, well, we made it to Indy, the racetrack. We hit something big on the way. It's not like it scattered a bunch of rocks underneath the oil pan. So a little concerning there. But made it the rest of the way, looking the car over. We've got the front end off of it right now, or at least the hood. The pleaters changing some tires. Getting the... Putting the uh, race tires on, I'm gonna top off the fuel, put the fuel pump belt on for the mechanical pump. Get that put on and then we will be in race mode. Let's see if we can video that real quick. Real time. Jack the front up here in a second though, and the front shock is actually fully compressed. Well, like you said, when we pulled in, it was kind of loaded. Yeah, but it's not now. that you on? You picked the rear up off the ground. All right, we are now in race trim. Check the front tire pressures, but I feel like the right front is sitting much lower than it should be. That's not good. That's <laughs> Attempt to run and maybe see what happens. We got, we did an alignment check. Garrett's getting ready for, Cletus is getting ready for the car show. I'm gonna put a little more preload in the anti-roll bar because I saw in the in car that it was making a little move to the right. So I'm gonna try and fix that. But we filled up with race fuel. See, I should make sure we get the chutes where they're out and loose, but we'll deal with that here in a little bit. But I'm gonna roll under, like I said, put a little more preload in the anti roll bar. We got the drag radials put on, kind of going over everything. We're gonna, we're gonna get in the computer, give it the sauce and low gear, see if we'll uh, see if we can make up for this gear change. Some of you ask, well, why wouldn't we just put that in to begin with if we can just make up for it with power? But once we get to the point where we're trying to get every last little bit of ET out of the car, the 389 is going to be the faster gear or the quicker gear. Especially if he's doing an eighth mile event somewhere. But when it comes to quarter mile stuff, we just got to do the, uh, the 340 gear and give up some, give up some eighth mile 
to, to get all the way through the quarter. So I'm gonna crawl under it and make some adjustments in the preload of the anti-roll bar, and then we'll probably go check out the track and see what the track's looking like. The, uh, the weather seems like it's coming around. Some blue sky in a couple of spots I saw. Maybe a little hole right there. But starting to get, get exciting. Sometimes. I said sometimes less is more. Alright, well that's our preload adjustment, which I'm not sure if you could see, but basically you can see we've got you know, the TRZ anti-roll bar connects from one side to the other. It tries to its goal is to prevent the G-body shuffle that these cars are so famous for. And really all fast race cars have anti-roll bars in them. I mean like real fast race cars all have anti-roll bars in them. So I just put a little more preload into here, which pushes this side down a little firmer, which should help steer the car straight because it was driving to the right just a hair when uh, the, all the power was coming in. So we're trying to get ahead on that. So the car goes even straighter than it was before. Sorry, wait, not until we're done racing. But we're gonna wrap this up here and go get to the track. Appreciate it.
down the track. I may fill the back fuel cell up with fuel, do something to try and get some weight further back on the thing. All right, pass attempt number four. Not cool. Found a couple things last time. We hadn't checked the tire pressures trying to high lap the car. They had gotten a little high because of multiple burnouts on them. Hopefully this, hopefully this one goes down. I really knocked it in the dirt. Took a lot of boost out of it through all of low gear just to try and go A to B to give us some kind of slip to turn in because we got to turn in two of them. big relief that we at least have one pass now we have an hour to turn the car around and get one more because we have to turn in two for these events but at least it's an 801 i'll take that that was weak 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 early track but at least it went down i'm gonna look at uh look at the data and see if i can maybe tune it up a little bit and see if we can at least go a little bit quicker turn this thing around and get back on the road. I think we've got three and a half hours of driving, which will turn into four and a half by the time you stop for fuel, get some food. Busy day, busy day. Well, that was an 801. It was an 801. Which is exciting. Yeah, it was an 801. Yeah. So, made a couple of little small changes. If we lose this run, we've got a 9.5 and an 801 to turn in. We're not gonna lose this. We're not gonna lose this. That's right. Oh, I just needed some fuel in the back. We forgot that John Force had touched the car and it's making all that extra horsepower. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you just put that extra fuel in it to compensate. <laughs> all right. Hopefully this one we get another good one. Turn the car real quick to get on the road. We're full of fuel. We got extra ice for our cool shirts. Yep. We're gonna drive. Let's but first, seven ninety seven. Seven ninety seven. I like it.
all right so i don't have any so i may not have any onboard video from that one but old cletus was doing some wheeling normally with a radial tire you don't get any chance to recover them when they start spinning and he just drove through it like a wild man so 816 not what we were looking for but we still continue on still with a decent uh that's an okay average that's an what 80 808 average not great but especially when the car is going for sixes but just trying to manage the power on this thing figuring it out we'll get there see if we can get back to norwalk tonight and uh maybe make some better runs tomorrow so us up here at Indy. Tough day for us. But not over yet. But we turn in like an 808 average, I think. Uh yeah, like 809 average. We brought our total overall average to a 786. That's not terrible. Good but thing we ran good in Norwalk. See if we can go run good again in Norwalk. Thank Kev. Howdy. Doing a bar change? Yep. So we're changing some uh, suspension angles on the mullet. Because it's kind of squatting instead of rising. Yeah, we weren't getting a lot of separation like I like to set up radial G body cars. Yes. And uh, that's what we're doing. All right. So we've got all this cool adjustment in the TRZ rear end housing. We'll put it to use. We're going to put it to use. Cool. About that. You got your angle. Yeah, angle. We're, we're on an angle, the car is. So. Yeah, zero it against the bottom of the frame. Okay. Or we'll just. Oh, I like her. There's a lot of science going on right now. <laughs> Well, bar angle change made. Hopefully it works. You guys have to stay tuned until tomorrow to see if it does or if it makes me look really silly. So we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one.